So we saw with the HR diagram that 90% of all stars fall on the main sequence. And so we call them main sequence stars. But what is a main sequence star? Why are these stars grouped together? Well, the defining characteristic of a main sequence star is that it generates energy through hydrogen fusion. And the byproduct of hydrogen fusion is helium. So recall H is the chemical symbol for hydrogen, and HE is the chemical symbol for helium. So what we've got happening inside of uh, a main sequence star is protons colliding together, sticking together, and turning into a helium nucleus because the nucleus of hydrogen is just a single proton. So they're generating energy through hydrogen fusion. That's what our Sun is doing. And so now we know that's what 90% of all stars do. They generate their energy through hydrogen fusion. So we think of this as kind of the you know, normal stage in the life of a star. And the fact that 90% of the stars we see fall on the main sequence tells us that this is equal to about 90% of the lifetime of a star is spent as a main sequence star. And the key underlying uh, idea of main sequence stars is this connection between mass and temperature. We keep going back to this over and over again. So high mass is going to be hot. That's your O star. And we know now that hot also means bright, uh, blue, O and B star. And we'll also discover these have a very short life. Uh, they use their fuel very, very fast. because they're so hot. Yeah. So these things are fast burning. High mass uses fuel fast. These are like, you know, cars that get 10 miles to the gallon. That's a high mass star. The other extreme are the low mass stars. And these stars are quite cool. So that's our M star, M and K. And so now we know they're red. Um, they're going to be faint. And these have a very long life. Again, it has to do with the temperature. Uh, cool means burning the fuel slowly. So the low mass stars are the energy efficient cars. Uh, what does a short life mean or what does a long life mean? O stars, they live for about a million years. M stars live for uh, about a hundred billion years. Our universe has not existed long enough 
for an M star to die. So very, very large extremes as far as lifetimes of stars. And all of it comes back to the mass. The mass determines all of these characteristics of our main sequence stars.